Sevens, do you ever measure your battery health or just wait for them to not perform well? How do you go about it? Um, so here, here are the ways that I know that a battery is unhealthy. Number one, if I'm flying the battery and I notice short, shorter flight times, a lot of voltage sag, than, or if the battery is super hot and puffy when I land, that's a sign that the battery is unhealthy, okay? And that's the number one thing that'll make me retire. Well, <laughs> the number one thing that makes me retire a battery is I over discharge the battery by accident and kill it. And then I throw it out. But that, you yeah. um, know. If I finish flying and one of the cells is consistently way out of balance with the others. So when you finish flying, the cells will be not at exactly the same voltage. But if one's at like 3.7, 3.8, 3.7, 3.8, 3.3. That cell has a problem, and I would be concerned that that battery was damaged in some way. Um, while charging, if there's one cell that you, all the other cells are like at 4.2, and then you're at the end of the charge cycle, and one of the cells is down like at 4.1 or 4.15 or something, and it's just slowly not getting to 4.2 when all the other cells have gotten there. It's way out of balance. That's a sign that the battery is unhealthy in some way. Um, excuse me. Uh, and then internal resistance. If the battery's internal resistance, if one of the cells is wildly different than the others, or if I have a bunch of the same battery and like all of them have approximately this internal resistance for the cells, but one of them is wildly different, that would be an indication that something's wrong, okay? So those are, those are the signs that a battery is ready to be retired.